Welcome to the guided tour of Mental Case 2 for the Mac. It's a good idea before you get started to import some sample notes just to get a feel for what is possible with Mental Case. And when you first start Mental Case, you should get this welcome screen and you can click this button here to import some sample notes. There's about 30 notes as you can see. There's a quick tour which is an introduction to some of the concepts of mental case. There is a language example, human anatomy, and some Italian art. And of course, you can use mental case for learning many more things. These are just some examples. What is mental case? Mental case is the study app. The idea is that you enter mental notes, short pieces of information that you want to learn, and then you study them. And Mental Case will schedule your notes for study. So if you get a note wrong, the note will appear more often in future so that you can learn it better. Let's take a look at some of that. Uh, here is our Italian art and you can see on the right here that we have what's called the note browser. And it's like a draw with your notes. You can actually click and drag through these notes just as though you, had, you were using your finger. So you can do a skimming type effect to get a better idea of what the notes are. Each note is actually made up of multiple facets. So you could think of these as different sides of the note or different aspects of the note. We call them facets. You could, for example, have a question and answer set of notes and a question and answer note will have two facets. One will be the question and one will be the answer. But you can think of many more different types of notes, two facets, one facet or more. It's completely up to you. Italian art notes have two facets and you can see the extra facets just by clicking through and you can see it flips up and you can see what's underneath on the second facet. In this case, the name of Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, you can also use your scrolling wheel or your scroll wheel or your scrolling gesture to do this flip this flip up. So you can go through your notes and then if you see a note that you like you can uh, use a scroll wheel gesture to the right or to the left and you get this this effect. If you want to edit a note you simply double tap it and then you end up in the editing mode. And here with these, these Italian notes you can see that we have the painting here, it's an image you can drop in also a video here and you can add audio down the bottom here on each facet and of course text at the top. Now you can see here that this is the first facet on the left and the second facet here is on the right and the second facet here has some text. If we click the done button we go back to the note browser. Now let's imagine that we want to actually study these notes. What we can do is we can click down here on the new slideshow button and then we can select say to study all the notes in the selected stacks and that will prepare a slideshow for us to study and you can see we are seeing the first facet here of the painting and then we can think to ourselves okay what is the response here and we can go to the answer and see if we were correct if you like you can also grade yourself here using these buttons so just say we got this one wrong we we're just click this button here that says we got it wrong and we move on to the next one. If we get this one right, we just click the right button. So that's the basic idea of creating cards and studying cards in Mental Case. If you don't want to make your own cards, you can just simply go to the third tab here at the top and this is a selection of websites that have flashcard content. So you can choose from Flashcard Exchange and Quizlet.com at this stage. The idea is simply that you select a category or you can enter a search term here at the top and then you can find a set of notes that you're interested in and select it and then of course click the download button. And you'll see it downloads and when it's finished it will actually, those notes will appear in your library on the left. So if we go back now to the library, you can see that we've now got a new stack here on the left called Art History Exam 1. And we can again flip through those, uh, edit them, and of course study them. 